This tiny palm-sized box is a new super smart 80 watt charger from Toolkit RC called the M4 Pocket. Basically it's a 4S balanced charger that's got all the popular features you need to charge your batteries at home or out in the field. And alongside it is this really clever SC100 protocol cable and these two together make a very powerful combination. And despite being this small, this has got some clever features not seen on other chargers and that's all typical of Toolkit RC to be honest. So not only can you use the M4 Pocket to charge your batteries from a DC supply or from another battery if you're out in the field, you can power this directly by USB on a USB power bank and you could use this to charge your phone your DJI smart controller or your Mavic mini batteries all from a LiPo connected to here. It's fantastic. And this SC100 cable means you can power anything that needs 12 volts of 5 amps on an XT60 from a regular USB power bank. So you could use it to charge any battery balance charger from USB on one of these. And these two clever and cheap products really do make a powerful combination. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. And this is YouTube, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. This is a pocket sized balance charger that will fit perfectly into your flight bag or even your pocket. And it will charge one to four S batteries with the usual LiPo and lithium ion chemistries at up to five amps. And it's got this very readable bright IPS display with the familiar Toolkit RC charger user interface. And you just use this single button here to select how you want to charge. And you power this using an XT60 connector on the top. So you can use another battery like this or a DC supply if you want. Anything between 7 and 25 volts input voltage is just fine. Or you can flip this cute little latch and you can also power this using a USB power pack using USB-C connector. So once it's powered up there's a small lock symbol on the display here and that's just a safety feature so you can't do anything inadvertently so you have to press the button to wake it up. And there's four presets for battery current and you select that with a single button press. So this is on one amp at the moment and we cycle through two amps, three amps, five amps and back to one amp. And if you long press it changes the battery cutoff voltages. So we are on 4.2 volts here which is for LiPos. Long press 4.35 that's for high voltage LiPos. Uh, 3.85 that's for storage charge and then we long press again we get to 3.6 and that's for lithium or iron lithium batteries. Long press again it takes us back to 4.2. So you just plug the battery in that you want to charge in the bottom here and you've got the option of using an XT60 or an XT30 by flipping this latch. This is a nice feature that means you don't need those XT adapter plugs anymore and they're really easy to lose in the bottom of your flight bag. And the balance lead just plugs in the side. So let's plug that in there. This goes in the side. And it's beeped. That's just told me it started charging. And it does that because it's detected that there's a match between the voltages on the balance lead here and on the main port. And there's nothing else to do until it's finished. The display shows the balance circuit working here, flashing amber and red. These are all around 3.8, it just shows you that working. And the main voltage and current are shown here in red and green. And along the top bar here you've got the charge time, the input voltage, what's that, 15.8, 15.98 and the temperature, the internal temperature of the charger. And when this is working hard, there's an internal fan on the back here that 
switches on. All fairly normal. And that's it really, nothing unusual in what it does, but the way it does it is just very clever. It's tiny enough to go in your pocket and these flip latches that they put on the input, if I can get that out, the input and the output, they're just fantastic. And there's a few power options on this. The XT60 on the top, or use a battery, or you can use DC supplies, as I said before, or you can flip it over to this USB-C connector and use a USB power pack. So, this is uh, USB-C and this is quick charge protocol on here, so this understands quick charge. So I can power this directly off a USB power pack, which is really neat. So I can charge this from this. So if we charge, or rather connect that into there, down to here, get everything in shot. And if I unlock it, there we go. So we're charging this LiPo from this USB power pack. Fantastic. And on here, as I said, there are preset voltages and currents. Now, you may want to change those, and uh, that's easy enough. What you do is you connect the power onto here while holding the charge button. Press it down, plug it in. Oops, I wasn't quite quick enough. There we go. And you get to this setup page. And this allows you to change those presets. So along here you can change the current and the cutoff voltages for each of the presets and you can also use this to calibrate the input voltage and the balance voltages by connecting a voltmeter to the balance leads and the battery and tweaking these values around. Now I've gone through this a load of other times on my Toolkit RC charger videos but generally I find Toolkit RC charges are set up pretty well straight out of the box. But if you want to check and tweak them, you can use this page if you want to. Now, Toolkit RC have also got a companion to this little pocket full charger. Doesn't look like much. Just looks like a connector cable for a USB-C to an XT60. And that's sort of what it is. But actually, it's a multi-protocol USB-C connector adapter, which is much like on the M4 Pocket. And you can plug this into a regular USB power pack and then power any charger that's got an XT60 input. And it doesn't even have to be an, a Toolkit RC charger. Anything that needs up to 20 volts at a maximum of five amps on an XT60 connector. So, that means with this clever little lead, I can plug this into a USB power pack. I've got a Toolkit RC M7 charger here. And if I get the right way around, I can power this off this USB power pack. And that means that I could plug a battery in here and charge that up. Get that the right way around. Fantastic. So this power pack is charging a LiPo and that all happens because of this smart cable here. It's very clever. And like I said, it's a smart USB-C protocol adapter. So the input on here, it can take anything between five and 20 volts, depending on the capability of your USB power pack, and the output is anything between five and 20 volts at a maximum of five amps. And it's really clever. This power pack is quick charge too, and you can see when that's plugged in, 
the little symbol there, I get out the reflection, is showing that this is using quick charge, which is incredibly useful. And I could also use this to power other things. For example, let's turn that off, stop it beeping. Uh, so we've got here the MC8 multi checker. I could use it to power that off my USB power pack. Fantastic. And there's even more that comes from the M4 pocket. So if you take a USB C connector and connect it to my phone, plug this in the USB connector on there and plug a LiPo in, that means I can charge my mobile devices from a LiPo using the USB output on this M4 pocket, which is incredibly useful. And I could even charge my Mavic Mini batteries in the same way. Plug that in the side of there. There we go. Charging from a LiPo. So I think you can see these are a pretty powerful and useful combination. Don't forget, as usual, you can't get any more power out of this than it's rated for. So don't expect it'll magically supply more wattage than you've got on the input. These are both available now, and I'll leave links in the description where you can check availability and prices. The M4 Pocket is $29.99, and the SC100 cable is $8.99. And those are both excellent value for what you get. Plus, they're extremely useful. And yet again, Toolkit RC have come up with a couple of novel products that aren't expensive and just make life easy. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found that helpful, why not buy me a coffee to support the channel? There's links in the description. I'll see you next time.